Hello everyone, it is Luca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm black. Messed up already. <laughs> Today I'm doing a study with me video and I am not entirely excited to study, but I am excited that you're going to be here with me. Kind of giving me moral support, but I am studying for my art history exam and this is going to require a lot of memorization. I have to memorize certain pieces and their date, the artist, where it is, just a whole bunch of information. I already have started studying, so the exam's on Wednesday, and it's Sunday right now. This is all of my flashcards that I already have. This, I need to even make more, too. Like, I don't know if you can see how thick that stack is. I'm gonna give you guys my study tips. So, how I memorize things fast, these are actually Actually, like, a lot of hacks I feel like I've picked up throughout the year so definitely stay tuned for that Also, subscribe to my channel if you are new I upload a new video every single Sunday and I'll also follow my Instagram it's linked down below if you can't tell I just hopped out of the shower when I started this video I was just like you know what I'm not gonna get ready I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna waste no time because the people they don't care they don't care how I look at the end of the day so I hope that is true just accept me for my raw self first thing I do when studying is I get all my ducks in a row and that entails me cleaning my workspace. I talk about this a lot on my channel, but I just like working in a clean space. I actually, today is a Sunday. I always clean my room on Sundays. I'll just do a deep clean because it makes me feel so fresh and motivated. What I also like to do is play some really good study music. I know everyone has different preferences on what they like to listen to. However, I think it's extremely useful just to listen to music that is meant for studying instead of like your normal music because it will make it a lot easier to focus. I have been listening to some like classical music lately just because it really calms me and I'll even listen to classical music if I'm ever feeling stressed and I feel like it's just so good for the soul. It chills me out when I'm stressed which is a lot recently so I am playing some like classical Italian music because I am getting in the mood because I'm studying renaissance art so yeah. So it's extremely important to stay hydrated. This hydro flask is literally bigger than my face and I drink a lot of water while studying. So I just want to give you a study hack right off the bat because I know you're waiting and this will actually change your life. I use this to memorize basically everything I need to in life from people's names to, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, brown hair, sits in the back, name, Lisa, friendly, ish. What I do to memorize things easily is I go to my voice memos app and I just record a voice recording of myself saying the thing that I need to memorize. And then, so for example, I'm just gonna do it. This is gonna be awkward, but you will get to actually see. <laughs> Pisa Pulpit, artist, Nicola Pisano, time, 12.59 through 12.60. Material, marble, location, Pisa. Pulpit is a podium for reading or giving a speech. Five marble reliefs that depict the life of Christ. <laughs> I will literally do it for the rest of my flashcards. However, before I do it, I want to make all the flashcards that I need to. I can't believe I need to make more. I honestly can't. Like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know about this whole college thing. Kind of too late for me to back out. Just kidding. Ah! Okay, here's my little med notebook. So fancy. I always highlight my notes because it just helps me um, read them better when I need to study. update time for realsies. I just finished my 10 minute recording of my 
all of my vocabulary or my titles to the paintings and all of that I finished I'm literally going to listen to this while I'm falling asleep call it studying just impress my subconscious and then see if I do well and just call it a day next thing I'm gonna do is our teacher makes it extra credit if we make flashcards with the paintings on them so I have to print out all of the paintings and stick them to my freaking 20 flashcards more than that and I am just my hair is just air drying fantastically for me isn't it break I think it's super important that you give yourself study breaks because your attention span is a lot better and it's a great way to avoid burning out and just getting tired and giving up so I have some opal apples with peanut butter and cinnamon on top I don't know why I've been loving opal apples recently they're really good so I'm gonna enjoy my apples they're not crunchy guys I'm disappointing <laughs> So I cut out all of my images and I now have to place them on my flashcard. The image is going to be covering up the text that I wrote. I should have done this first and then wrote the information, but this is just how we're doing it now. So I think I'm just going to tape it so you can flip it up and see the words. I kind of messed up on that part, but hey, you live and you learn. I'm kind of going insane. Yeah, I feel like I've been studying this for like a week yet I still don't know anything like I have nothing memorized to keep you entertained right now because I do not feel it inside. I'm drinking some kombucha to keep me motivated. What I want to do for this test is like go back and review my notes especially. I feel like I've gotten really good at memorizing most of the terms. So how I'm going to do that is just go back in my notes and literally rewrite them over and over again. I don't rewrite all of my notes because that would take forever. I just rewrite the parts that I don't really remember. Side note, I feel really lethargic. I just feel like I've been in my this chair literally all day because I had a zoom class before this I'm also stressed drinking kombucha. I need to actually get going and get studying because I'm just trying to procrastinate The day before the test, I headed to a coffee shop and did some last minute studying. I tried a new technique of quizzing myself, so I basically just printed a blank sheet without the names to the paintings and then I quizzed myself on how much I knew and honestly, this was a great way to gauge how much I knew and what I needed to brush up on right before the test. I made sure to grade my final answers in pen and if I messed up anything, I just wrote it down over and over again. 
Hey guys, so I am going to end the video here just because I think I'm gonna stop studying. I honestly don't know if I'm like driving myself insane just by studying. I definitely feel like there's a point where you can just overwhelm yourself. Mental health and self-care is honestly so important and just knowing when you need to stop and take a break and just let go. If you want more of these, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below anything you want and subscribe to my channel. Also click the thumbs up button. It helps my channel grow and I would really Really, really appreciate it um, and with all that said i really do love you and appreciate you excuse me and i will see you in my next video bye i got so much back i think i'm never running out yeah bust me down a little bitch i don't do this for no clout hey i got so much back i think